The Steet Ponte Auto Group in Yorkville and Herkimer and Turnbull Insurance Service since 1866 present Mohawk Valley Living, exploring the arts, culture, and heritage of our region. Pick up the new November issue of Mohawk Valley Living Magazine today at our nearly 200 mom and pop advertiser locations. Find the complete list on our website, mohawkvalleyliving.com, where you can download and read the magazine online, also on Facebook. Good morning and welcome to Mohawk Valley Living. We are headed today to Cooperstown, but on the way we couldn't help but stop here at Mary's Pantry again. We were here five years ago, had the pot roast today as I did five years ago, and it is absolutely phenomenal, as is her homemade pie. So when you come here, have both her pot roast sandwich and her homemade pie. In a historic home in Cooperstown, we meet a retired couple who seem busier than ever. Bill and Janet Rigby are creating dazzling ornaments using the original 130-year-old molds created by inventor Gustav A. Mayer in the 1880s. The shiny, faceted ornaments create the illusion of being encrusted with sparkling gems. What I'm holding in my hand is headed to Santa's cottage in Cooperstown. Although it looks like it's covered with gems, it's really recessed reflectors uh, that are painted. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. It began on Staten Island in 1977. I started working for a museum village and I met these two elderly ladies and she, they had given most of the Papa's businesses to the museum, the, the remnants of it. And one of the things he did was he made these Christmas ornaments uh, out of tin and lead on the original molds. And um, it was a fascinating concept. Um, and then I find out that uh, they were selling off rooms of furniture in their big old house. And in the desk drawer of the library, the man that bought the furniture found these 42 molds that were thought to be lost to the scrap drives in World War II. And so I got the molds and I put them away, just, you know, pack rat I am. And then when my wife, 10 years later, saw the molds, she said, have you tried to make them? I said, no. Well, let's do it. So uh, her father was a rolling mill engineer for Revere Copper and Brass, so he got us the first couple of pounds of tin. And we made the first ornaments on his kitchen stove in Boonville. And out of that grew our nice little hobby. I wouldn't say it's a business, but it's, it's fun. Well, we just, uh, from what they told us on how to do it, we heated up the tin on the kitchen stove in Boonville, and we dipped the first tool into the metal, and we pulled it out and it looked like a galvanized bucket. <laughs> so uh, after a lot of experimenting, we got them to come out bright and shiny. It's something that we, nobody has seen in years. You can find originals, but the originals had a lead content and they turned them all gray. Uh, we've experimented and found that we can leave the lead out and use only pure tin. And it's molten tin, it's not stamped in sheet metal tin. And um, they stay bright and shiny for years. So it, it makes, a special, uh, makes it special for a lot of people. Bright and shiny and a Christmas tree works. I'm really not retired. I'd like to be. But the things I get involved in are too much fun. Um, we walk the streets of Cooperstown just to get a breath of fresh air, and everybody that sees us thinks we are retired. But no, we're here in the basement making ornaments, and we sell antique hardware around the country by mail order. And we actually do anything else that's interesting. You're invited to visit the Zinn Brilliant Workshop today during their open house from noon to five at 73 Elm Street in Cooperstown. Their shop will also be open every Thursday through Saturday, 10 to four, now through Christmas. You can also visit and shop online at zinnbrilliant.com. It's not what you take or give, it's here. The Steet Ponte Auto Group is proud to bring Mohawk Valley Living to you each week, serving the Utica area and the Valley with outstanding customer service in Yorkville at Steet Ponte Ford Lincoln Mazda, Steet Ponte Volkswagen, and Steet Toyota Scion, and in Herkimer at Steet Ponte Chevrolet. Stop in and see why it's so easy to do business with Steet Ponte. 
you go the extra mile for your small business and should expect the same from your insurance company. For over 140 years, Turnbull Insurance Service has been committed to local small business. For your commercial coverage, turn to the company ready to go that extra mile. Turn to Turnbull. I love Mohawk Valley Living. I love Mohawk Valley Living. I love Mohawk Valley Living. I absolutely love Mohawk Valley Living. I love Mohawk Valley Living. Mark your calendars for the 7th Annual Christmas in Little Falls, Saturday, December 13th. Enjoy a good old-fashioned Christmas with live music, carriage rides, and free family events. There is shopping and an indoor farmer's market and artisan's fair, Saturday, December 13th in Little Falls. Now through December 31st, visit Cooperstown and the Fenimore Art Museum's new exhibition, Dorothea Lang's America. Explore Lang's intriguing Depression-era photographic images of migrant workers, suffering families, and tortured landscapes. For more information, visit FenimoreArtMuseum.org. The Fenimore Art Museum, overlooking Otsego Lake in Cooperstown. Great American art in a beautiful setting. Melrose Supermarket is your family hometown market, known for their choice hand-cut meats, homemade breads, and fresh pastas and salads. Check out the weekly specials at Melrose Supermarket, East Main Street in Frankfurt. Design it your way at Adirondack Furniture. Whether you're looking for furniture for your bedroom, living room, or dining room, you get to choose your style, wood type, finish, fabric, and hardware. American Made gives you the freedom of choice. Shop Adirondack Furniture for the best quality and price for solid wood furniture made in the USA. Ask about 0% financing and free delivery. Adirondack Furniture, Riverside Center, North Utica, and online at adirondackhomefurniture.com. Attend the Farmers Museum Conference on Food and Farming, Saturday, November 15th. The conference will inform and inspire farmers and the public, highlighting heritage-based as well as biotech farming. Admission is free to the conference on food and farming, Saturday, November 15th from 9 to 5 at the Farmers Museum in Cooperstown. This week we're visiting a few main streets in the Mohawk Valley. The first main street we visit is an appropriate start to celebrate Black History Month. As we'll learn later, this main street played an important role in the anti-slavery movement. This is Main Street, Whitesboro. Before we start our journey, we start our day like many in Whitesboro, with coffee and baked goods at Star Bakery. Anybody who is familiar with Star Bakery over in East Judica would know about the Marshall family. They have been bringing sweet foods uh, for your sweet tooth for many, many decades. The people of Whitesboro are lucky enough to have an outlet right here on Main Street. If you want to sweeten up your sweetheart for Valentine's Day, this is the place to come. There are dozens of things to choose from, and uh, there are Valentine half moons, there are heart-shaped sugar cookies, and there are <laughs> unbelievably delicious Mary Ann's. Well, well, when I was in college, I started working weekends, and then I did a favor to my husband now to go out with him and his cousin with the other girl that worked at the bakery 35 years ago. And here I am today. So you married into it. <laughs> I married into it, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, my father-in-law has been in baking. He used to bake in New York City. And then he came to the New York bakery that used to be on Oriskany Boulevard. And then he had an opportunity to buy the Star Bakery. And he talked to his sons and they decided, yeah, that would be a good venture. So they did it. And my husband worked very hard. All of them did. And my brother-in-law, he was in high school when they got it, and he used to fry the donuts before he went to school in the morning. And then after he graduated, he graduated right into full time. <laughs> so what do you do as part of the bakery? Um, I'm a sales clerk, and I do paperwork, payroll, year-end books. Um, I hire and train the girls and uh, help out wherever I can. I can make cakes. I've done a little bit of everything. I have a lot of good customers, very friendly, and I just enjoy it. You know, it keeps me going. <laughs> Sometimes I don't want to. <laughs> you just keep going. <laughs>
Right next door is the popular Mike's Weisboro Fish Market. Open Wednesday and Thursday 3 to 6, with lines out the door on Fridays from 9 to 7. We head across Main Street to the historic First Presbyterian Church. This congregation and church was built and grew during the tumultuous anti-slavery movement in New York State. The church itself was first started in 1801 as a church meeting house and a little white wood building. That's what you would have seen on Main Street, which they called the Road to Rome. 1834, they build a slightly bigger church, same site. So the people back then would have been familiar with this, this site of the church. Um, and so that was a red brick building. And like many of the churches, it had galleries all around it for the slaves or the colored people. Um, the organ went in, the organ was made in Utica. And then in the early 1900s, they painted the red brick white. And that's the church you see today. In 1979, like many of the churches, they had a fire. Every church seems to have that in their history. It's uh, very near and dear to all the people in a congregation. And this church, as you see it now, just collapsed, uh, just filled with rubble. But fortunately, the exterior walls are those 1834 walls that they preserved. A good landmark story, of course, at that time people said the church is now rubble. Should we leave the old thing there or be modern and progressive? Fortunately, they kept the 1834 walls. And that 1834 time was the glory days of this church with the abolitionists. So we have a structure that reflects a significant past. Many of the members of this church were faculty and students of the United Institute here on Main Street. The Institute was America's first biracial academy. The Institute's graduates included such well-known black abolitionists as Jermaine Logan, Alexander Crummel, and Henry Highland Garnett. Right next to the church is the former home of Benjamin Babbitt. Now, Benjamin Babbitt was known for his soap making, and to many of you out there, uh, as I remember it, my mother for many, many years used Babbo to clean up the counters around the kitchen. That was made world famous by Benjamin Babbitt right here in Whitesboro, New York. Another historic site in Whitesboro is 100 Main Street. The back portion was built in 1780 and operated as a tavern by the son of Hugh White, the village's founder. Last year, the building became home to Colonial Pharmacy when it was purchased by Robert Langdon, protecting it from the threat of being torn down. He has added a pharmaceutical compounding laboratory, but intends to maintain and preserve the building's historic architecture. We leave Main Street Whitesboro and head to Main Street New York Mills. We have visited this village on the show a couple times in the past, but have been told you haven't visited New York Mills until you've tried Trio's Pizza. We were thinking of going in business and um, drove around, driving around, and we found this place. It did not look anything like it does now, but my husband and I, and I said, you know, that place, you could open a place there if you can still do it, because it was so old that we thought, you know, you may not be able to run a business here anymore, but we did. We were able to. So. What do you specialize in? Pizza. <laughs> pizza and wings. We have a very small menu. Pizza, wings, mozzarella sticks. That's about it. We, um, we don't have all the stuff that most places do, but we do it well. So we here. I don't know. <laughs> it's trios because my husband and his brother and his best friend are all in business together. It's a partnership, so they had to come up with a name and trios stuck. They, um, Tom's brother worked at a pizza parlor for a long time and he, uh, he had the knowledge and then he's taught the other two and I can't give away the secret. <laughs> they may have a very limited menu here, but what they do, they do very well. The crust here is light and crispy and you come here and try it yourself, you're going to fall in love with it. Go down to the rest. We travel down Main Street to Dave's Clip Joint, and sure enough, we find Dave busy keeping up with demand. 
Of course, the first thing he mentions is that Richard's looking a little rough around the edges. If you're looking for an old-fashioned barbershop with old-fashioned prices and an old-fashioned barber, then come, <laughs> come here to Dave's Clip Joint. Haircuts are still only $9, and if you're a senior, uh, for example, I got my haircut for only, for only $8. Of course, it took them only, what, 30 seconds? 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and the extra bonus when you come here, you'll get something sweet, cookies, or for example, these cupcakes today. They were, uh, what kind of cupcakes again? Carrot cupcakes. Carrot cupcakes, and they're baked by Dave himself. Yep. And if you're a police officer or a member of the military, you'll get your hair cut for free. <laughs> well, don't laugh. <laughs> you blew it. Uh, 24 years. Yep. He hasn't learned yet. Uh, <laughs> I, I hurt my back driving truck. I drove a truck and trailer for a living. And I, and I hurt my back and I decided to become a barber. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So I decided to be a, to be a barber. Just popped into my head. <laughs> That's what it was. So um, is, what's the trick to it? To cutting hair? Yes. The, the, the gab, you got to talk. You got to be able to talk. You know, it's you gotta be like Dick Enders. You gotta be able to talk. You know. I hear that you sing. Yes, yeah, yeah. sing the national anthem all over, and uh, and I uh, and I make CDs, and I do a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. now, and you raise money with it? Yeah, for Operation Sunshine. Okay. Yeah. Can you give us a bar? <laughs> Can I give you a bar? Yeah. Um, let's see. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole wide world. In his hands, he's got the whole, whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. Boom. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the words. Why don't you go for it? He's got you and me, brother. Yeah. <laughs> when planning your family's future, turn to the principles of the past. Turn to Turnbull. Turnbull Insurance Service is an independent agency representing the most dependable companies for all your insurance needs as well as complete financial planning and wealth management. Call today for a free assessment. Don't miss Axiom Brass performing this Saturday. Praise for their high level of musicality, technical ability, and clean, clear sound. This award-winning quintet performs this Saturday at the Wellen Hall Schombach Center for Music and Performing Arts at Hamilton College in Clinton. Tickets by phone, online, and at the door. Hi, Dr. Tom. Bringing your cat to the Paris Hill Cat Hospital on Sundays is a part of Mohawk Valley Living. Come inside and see why. Paris Hill Cat Hospital, this is Lindsay. How can I help you? Hello, Mrs. Cole. Your cat is losing weight and you need an appointment? And you're only available on weekends. Sure, I have an available appointment with Dr. Karen Sunday at 2 p.m. Does that fit into your schedule? Okay. We're open seven days a week because we know that your cat can become ill anytime. The Paris Hill Cat Hospital, quality care for your cats and kittens. Paca Gardens has the largest selection of the finest alpaca clothing and products in central New York. The store has doubled in size and features hundreds of sweaters for men, women, and children starting at just $39.95. There are also dozens of styles of soft alpaca socks in a rainbow of colors, including therapeutic socks to aid circulation. There are also warm hats, mittens, and scarves. Paca Gardens offers layaway and gift certificates and is open seven days a week through Christmas at 27 West Main Street in Little Falls. Fall fashion begins at the Village Crossing. Shop for the latest in women's attire, jewelry, shoes, and handbags designed to delight. The Village Crossing on the Village Green in Clinton. I, R.A. Dudrak, the Window King, invite you to visit our showroom in Holland Patent or we'll come to your home by appointment. We've been installing replacement windows for over 45 years. Keep your palace cool in the summer and warm in the winter by adding new windows. Many styles and selections to choose from. Bay, bow, garden, and double hung, single hung, and slider windows. The Window King also introduces color replacement windows. So take a short drive to R.A. Dudrak, Holland Patent, and tell them the Window King sent you. Expecting company? Just call Deansboro Superette. They prepare delicious Middle Eastern platters for any number of guests. Call 841-4377. Enchanted Forest Water Safari, New York's largest water theme park, presents Adirondack Journal. Good morning, I'm Gary Van Riper. Welcome to Adirondack Journal. Tucked into a cliffside right here overlooking beautiful Fourth Lake is this historic chapel, St. Peter's by the Lake. 
The chapel celebrated its 100th anniversary in 2005, and I'd like to introduce you to Father and Shirley Green, who will tell us more about this unique Adirondack landmark. If you were to envision the perfect setting for a church that would inspire and uplift a congregation, this would be the spot. When this chapel was built over a century ago, the founders must have sensed the spiritual beauty of the area. Well, when Mason Cook, who founded the chapel, uh, must have had the vision for that, and he was rector at St. Augustine's in Ilion, and came up and uh, got the chapel started and, and worked here in the chapel for several years. While we're working with uh, people who are visitors, uh, some are Episcopalian, some aren't, but uh, we uh, attempt to do the readings from the scriptures assigned for that day and, and follow the homily or sermon uh, related to that theme. Yes, I retired from uh, St. Augustine's Church in Ilion. I was there 33 years, and before that I was 10 years up at St. James. I do um, two days at Grace Church Utica on Tuesday and Thursday. I do a service and then I do hospital calls. Mm -hmm. So uh, I guess I'm not fully retired, but uh, between that and being here uh, has been a real blessing. Services are held here at St. Peter's by the Lake at 9 and 11 a.m. on Sunday mornings. You can come by car or why don't you come by boat and add another page to your own Adirondack Journal. Beautiful Colgate University deserves a road trip of its own someday. Founded in 1817 by 13 men, six clergy and seven laymen, the university has grown to a highly selective independent liberal arts college. Atop the rolling hills of the campus is a spiritual sanctuary and retreat house. Chapel House offers a setting for study, reflection, and meditation. Here, the seeker will discover personal insights through books, art, music, and nature. In this world of constant noise, it's a pleasure to find some place that is uh, quiet all the time. Chapel House is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you can come here and in the silence of this room, just think and meditate and get away from the busyness of the world. It was created in 1959 as a place of retreat, meditation, contemplation, for people of all religions and none, all spiritual pursuits. It's the only place like that in the world. Sometimes we'll get a call and people will say, well, do we have to work in the kitchen? Do we have to be up at five in the morning to be at prayers? No, this is a very personal thing. People come with their own agenda, the thing that they most want to think about or study or be in silence from and with. And they come and stay for two nights or longer. And they are in silence except at mealtimes. And they are free to use the books in the library to appreciate the artworks, which are from all over the world and from all spiritual belief systems, and to listen to music in the music room. And then we get together three times for meals. And that's when we let the talk flow. All the pent-up words come out at mealtimes. And we have wonderful talks, very special guests. And it's, it's a very special place. Make the Clinton Shopper Stroll part of your family tradition. The village is decorated with thousands of white lights. Music and the aroma of roasting chestnuts fill the air. And shopkeepers invite you in for holiday treats. The Clinton Shopper Stroll. All day, the Friday and Saturday after Thanksgiving. The Steet Ponte Auto Group is proud to bring Mohawk Valley Living to you each week, serving the Utica area and the Valley with outstanding customer service. In Yorkville at Steet Ponte Ford Lincoln Mazda, Steet Ponte Volkswagen, and Steet Toyota Scion. And in Herkimer at Steet Ponte Chevrolet. Stop in and see why it's so easy to do business with Steet Ponte. Visit Brenda's Natural Foods in their brand new, bigger location, right down the street at 236 West Dominic Street in Rome. Brenda's Natural Foods, something good and a lot of it. Hi, welcome to the Little Falls Antique Center in the shops at 25 West. We have two full floors with 50 vendors of interesting and unique products ranging from specialized to very eclectic, primitive to the not so primitive. Remember, shop local, we're worth the trip. 
call Yannick excavating for all your residential and commercial projects, from new construction and land clearing to septic systems, driveways, basements, ponds, and topsoil. Visit yannickexcavating.com. Meelan's Market is your holiday meat headquarters, featuring boneless hams smoked, trimmed, and cured by Bob Meelan himself. Stuffed pork chops, low-salt, low-fat kielbasa, chicken cordon bleu, and remember to pre-order your Plainville turkey at Meelan's Market at the Four Corners in Clark Mills. Tom's Natural Foods is your connection to local farms for natural and organic fruits and vegetables, meats, eggs, cheeses, and other milk products at Tom's Natural Foods in Clinton, naturally. The people you know, the rock you love, and more songs per hour. 92.7 FM, The Drive, Central New York's locally owned independent rock station. The next Main Street we visit, few people realize is Main Street. It's Main Street, Utica. This was once the bustling center of the city, with horse and buggies and trolleys crisscrossing Bag Square. And this is where the train brought visitors from around the country to Utica. Down through the years, we have visited Union Station on the show many, many times. Well, we're featuring Main Street this week, and the hub of Main Street is Union Station. So we're here again. This is home base for the Adirondack Scenic Railroad that can take you from Utica to the Adirondacks. It is also home to Amtrak that can take you almost anywhere. From here, you can go to Boston or to San Francisco or to my favorite destination, which is Penn Station. New York City. Before the railroad came to Utica, Utica was known as Fort Schuyler. And in the late 1800s, Main Street was the road that ran along the Mohawk River. This um, street off of the side of it um, was where the shops and, um, well, Moses Bagg's blacksmith shop and his tavern and some of the early homes were and so forth. So it was the Main Street in the early days, but somehow got eclipsed by Genesee Street as years went by. The railroad came in 1836. Uh, the Utica and Schenectady Railroad was the first. In 1839, then there was opened the Syracuse and Utica. And then on, on through the 1840s, there were railroads built on across from Syracuse to Auburn, Auburn to Rochester, Rochester to Buffalo. And then in 1853, those railroads, uh, plus the Mohawk and Hudson, of course, between Schenectady and Albany, were merged end to end to form the original New York Central Railroad across the center of New York, hence the name. The National Railway Historical Society's Utica and Mohawk Valley chapter uh, has rooms here in the station where uh, we have our chapter archives of books and photographs and uh, engineering drawings. Uh, even when we're not having meetings, of course, a lot of our members are down here um, because we maintain uh, the steam locomotive here at the station. Um, we're also responsible for the uh, railroad equipment at the Children's Museum, that's ours. Uh, many of our members, uh, in addition, volunteer on the Adirondack Scenic Railroad. Uh, and then folks just come down on their own just to watch the trains go by. Uh, it's a very popular activity. Honey, honey. 